Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a very special episode for you in that it's not my typical how-to video. And as per the last handful of videos, it's got nothing to do with that E7 Detch that's currently sleeping under the car cover. Today's video is going to be all about this Uber Clean 1991 LX Hatch. Some of you that have been watching my channel for a while may recognize this car because I have had it on the channel before. I did a full blown feature of it because it's a very good buddy of mine that owns it here locally. If you want to get caught up on that video, I'll link it for you right here. Go back, check it out, and then you can be up to speed on some of the things that I may leave out in this video. As a quick recap, this is a two owner car. My buddy is the second owner. He bought it off the original owner that he knew locally, so he knew the car from day one when the woman first bought it. And he used to work at this gas station and she'd come in all the time. He'd bug her to sell it to him and she never would. Anyway, the time finally came, he bought it. Now, what's going on in the last little bit is life's gotten busy for my friend and he's actually considering selling the car. So I told him that I would feature the car on my YouTube channel, get the word out to the community, and just see if anyone's interested in potentially picking up a super clean canvas which there's not that many of these left out there guys i'm going to be honest with you this is a really clean car that has not been modified or molested okay original harness it's got the stock stereo on and on i'll tell you all about it but anyway really clean canvas to build your dream car from okay so now the car has been painted which i guess ultimately takes away from the originality of the car. However, the car did not need any bodywork. We live in a, an area here in Canada that gets a lot of sun and this car's paint was just getting a little faded and a little tired. For example, you can see right around the quarter windows, a little bit of fading there, which is kind of par for the course, unless you've replaced your your windows or your moldings, you, you know, that's kind of standard, but speaks to the originality of the car and they're not falling off by any means. So gives you an idea of the life this car's had. This paint job is the new Ford Ruby Red, which I think it pulls off very, very nicely. Looks great in the sun. It looks even better at night, but it's a really, really nice aftermarket paint job. Very, very well done. The only body work that was done on this car, as you can see over there, the antenna has been shaved. That's it, okay? The only body work. Got the newer uh, black 5.0 badges on it versus the original Fox body badges. Looks like they even knew where to place them. The infamous project would be happy with that. The car's never been lowered, okay? You can see the four wheel drive stance it's still got. Tires have been changed, brakes have been, well, just stock OEM upgraded. Uh, under the hood, which I'll take you around under there, but you know the standard stuff, plugs, wires, air filter. It did get a set of the newer smoked headlights, which I think also looks pretty good. It was kind of the theme, so my buddy was thinking about doing a, a bit of a build on this car, but life has happened and he's considering moving on from it so this is the stage that it's currently at and uh, I guess it's the next person's win because you don't have one of the worst things to deal with in any kind of car restoration is paint in my opinion and you've already got that nailed down here so that's a little trip around the outside I'll just walk you around this other end here too again the paint is stunning on it no dings, no dents, and it's paints about a year old, year and a half old. So very, very nice. Again, actually these moldings were changed when they painted it. Okay, and I think maybe uh, some of the trim was freshened up, right? Mirrors were freshened up. Uh, yeah, new uh, window belt moldings. Here again, you can see, right, this one's not as bad, but original quarter windows. Going inside the car, doors open very nicely. A Little bit of a saggy map pocket, right, par for the course. Again, manual windows, manual locks, original door pins, okay? And I'll give you an idea of how tight these door pins are. Ah. <sighs> 
no movement in them at all. Show you the door closing. Very, very nice. Okay, black interior, right? Pretty much the, the unicorn of the Fox body interiors. Now the car has been in storage, so it, it's not the cleanest inside here. I would probably say one of the first things this car is gonna need is a, a deep clean detail. So it's a little dusty, but seats are in really good condition. Quick little shampoo would tidy those up nicely. Uh, as per 99.9% .9 of the Foxes in the world, the ashtray door is broken. <laughs> stock shifter, stock radio, okay, stock speakers, everything. Cruise control works. It does have an alarm in it. Actually, you can see on top of the steering wheel there, it's got its little light. Uh, and it does actually have power door lock actuators in it. So part of the alarm system. Going into the back here. Again, not super clean. It's a little dusty, but like the bones are amazingly sharp and clean. Seat belts aren't faded. You know, it was very well cared for minus the, the storage dust. Getting into the trunk area, full disclosure, the shocks on the hatch are original and they are shot. Hence this walking stick that I've got holding the rear hatch up. But here's actually a pretty good look at the strawberry red versus the ruby red. You know, it's almost that same contrast you get from OEM. Ah uh, yeah, I should point this out too, right? All original panels. You get all your VIN stickers on them all. Um, under the door, right? They're everywhere in this car. Uh, again, storage. <laughs> My buddy's got his garbage everywhere, but very, very beautiful black interior in this car, which again, very hard to find these days. Okay, quick little trip under the hood for you here, folks. Again, all the body panel VIN codes are there. Fender, hood, the other fender. The, tr the car is very dusty, okay? I I'll be the first to admit it. It has been in storage. Looks to be that maybe it's had a water pump change at one point. Maybe a timing cover gasket's been changed. Radiator's been changed, it looks like. Got all the OEM stickers on the rad support. Missing the hood blanket. That was probably removed during paint and maybe not put back on. Maybe it was in rough shape, but right, the distributor boot. I don't know if this is kind of wild. Usually this tape's been removed off the spout connector because somebody's farted around the timing. I don't know what the timing set out on this car. It very well maybe hasn't been changed because usually that tape is ripped so you can access the spout connector a little easier. Probably still got OEM timing in it, guys. Okay, guys, I'll take you for a little trip underneath the car. Well, let's start here. So it looks like we've got a two and a half inch H pipe, pardon me, X pipe, that goes back to a set of Flowmaster, mm, I'm gonna go with 40 series mufflers. <laughs> So the cats have been removed from it. Nice little H pipe, looks like whoever did it did a nice job. Two and a half inch cat back system. Another VIN sticker, a little bit of overspray on it. Very, very clean car underneath. Even the diff and everything, right? You can tell it's never been winter driven. Stock gears. Uh, looks like two seven threes that are in this car. Diff cover looks to be never removed. Torque boxes, absolutely golden on this side. Same thing on this side. Just mint. Stock springs, stock shocks. Really, really clean. Looks like it might have got a little bit of a 
undercoating treatment here. It doesn't look like much of one. Just the dusting. You know what? I wonder if this was redone. So this is a Canadian thing, this whole rock guard deal. They did this for like winter driving. Not that many of these cars got winter driven, but I bet the rock guard was redone and therefore it got a little bit of overspray on the underside of the car. I guarantee that's what it is because this looks too fresh to be done, you know, 31 years ago. Pinch welds are absolutely gorgeous. Jeez, you don't see pinch welds this nice. Let's see the other side here. Same, oh, maybe it's had a lift here once. But yeah, wow. That's really nice. Same thing here, you can kind of see a little bit of overspray here, so I think that rock guard was redone. Jeez, I should have mentioned to my buddy to not get that done. Didn't even realize. At any rate, nice and clean. Uh, okay, looks like standard rear main seal leak, maybe, maybe even oil pan, a little bit of oil pan. Uh, that's par for the course though on these old 5.0s. Got the original starter in it. Other than that, maybe a little bit of sweating going on from the front of the oil pan. Other than that, it looks real clean. Smog pump, still got the smog pump on it. How oh, funny. This is actually rooted right into the H-pipe here too. The aftermarket H-pipe, most people just kind of cut that off and plug it off up on the passenger fender well, right? But original rack to which maybe a little sweating going on, but no leaks or anything. Original tie rod ends, like pretty original guys, you know, and uh, all things considered super, super clean. All right guys, just to run you into the driver's side here quick, I'll show you how nicely the door closes here first and foremost. Original door pins, okay? And they're nice and tight. Now this is hard to show you on video, but no movement, no shake. Original pins. And again, you can see that contrast from the strawberry red to the ruby. It's not that bad, right? It's kind of falls into that OEM standard of what these jams looked like. But very, very clean. Left all the stickers, right? Because they didn't paint the jams. Now, moving into the driver's side of this car, wheel's in good shape. It's got the airbag wheel, right? But for a car this age, you usually see like the worn out section of the wheel. It's not at all. This car has 139,000 kilometers on it, which translates into about 86,000 miles. And all things considered, I would say they were really, really light miles. The first owner was a gal and she took very, very good care of it. Never ever winter drove it. And my buddy's had it for the last bunch of years and it's never seen a winter or anything either. Does have the sunroof, no AC stock shifter doesn't even have the short throw in it again dusty from being in storage but very very clean car okay guys so to sum this all up for you as i mentioned in my thumbnail and throughout this video my friend is considering selling this car so i wanted to put this video together for him to showcase it to the community i personally i would love to buy it myself I'm actually, I don't have anywhere to store it. As a lot of you know, I got three kids and a wife. My wife would probably divorce me if I did buy the car. I wish I could, I really truly do because this is one of those almost once in a lifetime deals where you get a super clean canvas. Like, put it this way. This, finding this car in this condition is something that only a handful of us have been fortunate enough to do, which happened probably 20 years ago. 25 years ago even. This car is one of those, okay? So for any of you that are out there that are serious, and you know what I mean, like you know what these cars are going for, and 
you're not looking to buy the, the $5,000 car because this is but nowhere near $5,000, okay? I'll be honest with you. And if any of you are interested in, and serious about it, by all means, reach out. Um, comment below. We can go back and forth on email, have a phone call, whatever. I can talk to you more about the car if you got any more questions. We can chat price too. Um, he's given me, you know, some goal posts to work within, but uh, hit me up if you're interested. Again, I wish I could do this car myself. It actually hurts me a little bit to offer this car up. I wish I could have just scooped it, but anyway, it's the way life goes. So my loss, your gain. Thanks very much for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.